Spanish Prime Minister Calls for Two-State Solution to End Israel-Palestine War Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez, addressing the Berlin Process Summit in Tirana, delivered a resolute condemnation of Hamas' ongoing attacks on Israel. He underscored that the sole pathway to bringing an end to the Israel-Palestine War lies in the recognition of two separate states. As he vehemently denounced the continuous attacks that have endured for over a week, Prime Minister Sanchez stressed the critical role of the European Union in de-escalating the violence. At this juncture, we find ourselves at a crucial moment within the international community. Europe stands as a testament to the fact that reconciliation is the only means of progressing forward. This stands as the very essence of the Berlin process. The strife of violence and war contradicts the values we champion. We unequivocally denounce Hamas for their role in the war, and we recognize Israel's legitimate right to self-defense. Our collective duty is to diligently work towards averting the further intensification of violence and rekindling all initiatives aimed at finding a resolution between Israel and Palestine. The sole avenue to resolving this protracted war is through the acknowledgement of two distinct states, Prime Minister Sanchez articulated. I wonder if Barcelona obtained weapons and initiated an attack on the rest of Spain due to their desire for independence, would the Catalans be considered aggressors or would Spain? This raises the first question. Secondly, labeling Palestinians as terrorists is a matter of contention. Palestinians are perceived as innocent people who extended their homeland and hospitality to the Israeli population when they faced rejection elsewhere. However, the response they received was the establishment of apartheid, two instances of genocide, and the Nakba. The argument continues over whether Israel's actions can truly be justified as self-defense, considering 76 years of violence, genocide, and occupation of Palestinian land. The question arises, what options do Palestinians have to reclaim their homeland and rights? The statement made by you, Mr. Prime Minister, is met with considerable skepticism and controversy. It is essential to address the issue of Palestinian land and their right to establish a Palestinian state. If Israel wishes to coexist in this region, it should do so under the conditions established by the Palestinian government, respecting their sovereignty. P.S. The accurate term, Mr. Prime Minister, is war, not conflict.